Welcome back to How This Mom Does It, and today I am going to be doing a tutorial in Excel on how to edit a lesson plan spreadsheet or how to even create your own from scratch. If you're interested in learning how to use Excel for lesson planning, stay tuned. So this video is a follow-up to the video I, where I did a walkthrough on my planner. So I basically took you through my spreadsheet in the previous video and showed you um, what a week looks like for us, how I put the book list together, um, how I used it, why I used it, and all of that um, information. So if you're interested in seeing specifics on how I use it, I would check out that video. Um, it gives you a better idea of what you can do with this. This video is basically showing you how to put it together and how to edit it. Now, if you're interested in trying a spreadsheet planner because it is a little bit different, a lot of people use um, a paper planner of some kind. Um, even if you don't, um, even if they use like Excel to create a spreadsheet, they usually print it out and uh, put it in a binder or something like that. And that's not how I use this. This is basically all on the computer. Um, you can print it out. All of the tabs are, um, I have formatted to be printable, but I don't use it like that. So you can, but um, I choose to use it solely on the computer. Now I do print off um, some of the, the, week, the weekly lesson plans when I need to um, show our work because we do go through a charter. But for the most part, I don't really ever print it out. I do it all on the computer. And it saves a lot of paper, a lot of time, and, and I go into more of that, like I said, in the, in the previous video. So this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put one together and how to edit it. Now, if you're interested in trying a spreadsheet like this, but you're a little bit nervous about making one from scratch, I actually just made this spreadsheet available on my Teacher Pay Teacher store, and it's downloadable, it's editable, completely editable, and it's formatted for printing. So it's all set up for you. But it, what would be helpful is if you knew how to edit it. So if you're not as familiar with Excel, but you want to try this and you want to download the spreadsheet, I would still watch the video because I'm going to show you how to make changes to it so you can customize it to fit your needs. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it and show you how to create a spreadsheet. Okay, so in front of me I have opened my lesson plan spreadsheet and it is a blank version. This is actually what's available for download on my Teacher Pay Teacher store. This is what it will look like if you download it. So it has the curriculum list, the themes book list, the history science book list, all the weeks are laid out and it actually goes all the way through the end of the school year and every tab is already formatted for printing. So that's what it looks like. So how you can edit it Say I want to go back to the curriculum list and I want to call it something different. Say I want to call it um, my, my book list or uh, my curriculum choices or whatever you want to call it. You would just left click, double click, and you can type in the cell um, whatever you want. You can change it, just say curriculum. Okay, and then just hit enter and or click off of the cell and it will save what you did. Say you want to change the color. If you want to change the color of a cell, you can just highlight the cell, click on it, and you can go up to the gradient fill button and you can select a color. So say I want it to be green, I can select green and it will be green. And that would go for any cell. So if you want to change any color, you just go up to the gradient fill button, select a color. You can even do more colors if it doesn't have what you want, or no fill if you want nothing in it, um, and it will change it for you. If you want to change a cell and um, how the words are formatted, you can change whether it's left, right, or centered by clicking on the cell. And then up here, these are your selections you can choose from. You can do left, center, or let you can do the, the left, the center, or the right. And you can do that with any cell. To change the formatting of each cell in terms of the border, you say I want to say I'm just going to click over here in this blank slide. So say I want to put a border around that cell. I just click on that cell that I want to put a border around. Come up there to this uh, border box, do the drop down, and it will give me all the borders I can choose from. So if I just want the standard border that you normally see, that's all borders. 
And if I want to do like the deep border that you see around um, all of my sections, like the, the whole curriculum list, and that just makes it stand out more, makes it pop a little bit more, that is the thick box border. So you can see what that looks like. Now, say I don't want any border. Say it has a border, but I want to change it. I would highlight whatever area. So say I have um, these three slides and say they have this border around it, and I want to get rid of it. I don't want any formatting, uh, any borders on any of it. I would highlight the area, come down to no borders, and it will take all the borders away. Say I want to do a big box border around a several uh, cells. I can just highlight the cells I want and do a big border around it. And that's how you change the borders. So I've just showed you how to edit the text, how to... Um, put borders around it, how to change the color, um, and all that. So it's pretty easy on how to edit it. Now, say you are using my spreadsheet or even your own and you want to move the tabs around. So you can um, move the tabs around by dragging and dropping them where you want them to go. Just easily to drag and drop. You can um, delete a cell. So say I didn't want a themes list, okay? I would just click on that tab, right click, I can rename it if I want to, I can delete it, and I can also copy it. So I'm going to talk about copying in just a second, but say I want to delete it, I would just click delete, and it's going to ask me if I want to do that, and I would click yes if I wanted to do that. Okay? So you can easily change the name again just by double clicking and then typing in and changing the name change, or you can right click on the tab and do rename and it's the same exact thing. Now you can also insert a new tab down here by clicking insert and insert a blank worksheet and that would give me a blank one. Say I wanted a uh, another tab in there for something. I could easily do that and if I made a mistake I can just delete it. Okay. Now when we are doing the um, the weeks because I do have a tab for every week as you can see down here at the bottom and that goes the whole year. So it's all the way to 40. So that's a lot. So I give 40 because some people go a little bit longer, um, just depending on how many weeks you do. But that's a lot of tabs. If you're copying and pasting, if you copy and paste, um, say I wanted to copy this and paste it into week two, right? If I copied this and pasted it into week two, I would lose all the formatting. It would look all smushed together. And I, since I have this formatted for printing, it would actually lose that formatting as well. And that's a lot to go back and reformat if you're doing all of those tabs. So the easiest way I know to duplicate a tab, so this is if you're making one for yourself and you wanted to add more tabs. All you would do is right click on the tab copy or move or move or copy and you would do create a copy okay and then you would choose where you want to put it so I'm just gonna put it right here in front of week one okay and if I look at that so I have this one already formatted for printing and this one will look exactly the same so that basically just duplicated the slide entirely I would just double click on that and I could change that to whatever I want I'm just gonna call it new week Okay, but it's the same exact thing. So if I made a mistake and I don't want it there, I just can delete it. Okay. Now to check for formatting. So say I've got my lesson plan for a week done. What I recommend is typing in everything that you want ahead of time and then doing the duplicates. So if I wanted to put in uh, plaid phonics, I can type in plaid phonics and pages or whatever I want to put in, but I just do the basics. I leave the page numbers out and I just add those in later uh, because those are specific per week for me. So I would just add in whatever is going to be the same on every slide so I don't have to duplicate my work. And then once that's done, so say I put, I'll put, um, ma I'll put mammoth for math mammoth and spelling workout and I'll do pages to save time or however you want to do it and so once you have this completely filled out how you want it to be with your basic uh, template slide then you would just right click on the bottom move and copy and 
I'm gonna put it right before there. And you can see that it's exactly the same. Now I'm going to show you how to format the slide for printing. So say you've made your um, sheet, it's how you want it to be, it has all this, the, mar the columns are the right width and everything. You go to File, Print, and this will give you a print preview. Now you can see I have this one already formatted, but I will show you what it looks like when it isn't. So I'm just going to insert a new slide here, or a new uh, worksheet. And I'm just going to put a couple um, borders on it real quick so you can see what it's going to look like. And I'm just going to put week number one, day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. So I had an extra one, so I'm going to left click, right click, delete, which got rid of that. So say this is what I want it to look like, and I've written all my subjects in here. So I can just say I want to make this 30, uh, right there, and make this one 30. And this is just kind of a quick way to format the columns. And I kind of like to look at it as I do it to see what I think it's going to, if it's going to be um, enough writing area. 30s are usually pretty good for me. And then at the top, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight it and then center the days. And then I'm just going to give the top um, a color. So we'll just do green. Okay. So let's say that's our first slide. And I have it all filled in. I'm going to go to File print and see how it looks uh, in the where how it automatically defaults to a portrait I'm going to change the orientation to landscape that will make it print um, sideways and then at the very very bottom you can actually you can see here how it only has your day three so and then also has page one of two so that's showing me that it's not all going to print on one page so I want to make sure that this prints all on one page. So what I can do is uh, where it says no scaling, click on that and it will say fit sheet on one page. So that will make it so it fits on one page. And then you can just go back and you have everything how you would want it to be. I like to type in a note section. So I have um, a place to write some notes if I want to down here, anything I want to remember or plan. And once you've got this formatted, then you would just duplicate the tabs. Now, um, I do have them in the four week block because we go through a charter and that's how um, our work periods are, are organized. So after each month I have a book list and I just created that the same way I created all the other cells. So book list title, author, and made the borders. I did give it a number so I can track how many books we're reading. And I did separate out read alouds, independent reading, and shared reading. But what you can do is once you've done this work and you have this how you want it to be, and you check that it fits as you're printing. So I wanted to see how it would print, and it printed how I would want it to print. Then I can go back and copy and move that slide like I showed you how to do. So really, when you're doing this, if you do it this way, you're only making one week and one book list if you do it the same way I do. And then you're just duplicating the slides and changing um, just a little bit of details. So for week two, I would go back up and change it to week two in August and so on. But that's really the only change I would have to make is week two, change the month if I need to change the month, and then the title down at the bottom. But I don't have to reformat anything or add anything else in once I have it how I want it. But again, I do recommend filling it in with the subjects and the curriculum that you're using. And then all you would have to do is um, enter in your page numbers and anything special or extra like holidays or whatever. Now, um, that goes all the way to the end of the school year. And at the very, very end, I have... Um, you can see how a lot of weeks so you can see it goes all the way through 
And then at the very end, I have my summer reading list too. So I just end it with a summer reading list so I can plan any books that we didn't um, read in May or the rest of the school year. If I want to add them on, I can just uh, copy and paste the cell if we don't get to it. Now, really quick, I do want to go back and show you how I highlight a cell that we are working on. So say I'm working in the week that we're on. Say we're in week one. And we did plaid phonics pages to one to two. Okay. If we did that and say we were also doing a Becca. So I was doing a Becca and we were reading pages um, five through ten or whatever we were reading at the time. Okay. So if she did plaid phonics then I would just go through highlight that cell and I would just do a gradient fill and I usually highlight it in like a light gray. That's just my choice. It's just something that shows up but I can still see what's going on. So then through the week as we work through our week I'll highlight different things. So say we finish spelling workout or we finish our math mammoth on Wednesday. I would highlight every cell as we go and then as the week finishes it will eventually end up completely filled if I've done it, if we've done everything that we I had planned, then it will eventually look like that and it will be completely blacked out. So that way, as I'm going through the week, that's how I know we finished something. I'll have all our books, um, books completed. So say we were reading Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. or something like that. And actually I do, I have it formatted to be italics because in when I do my spreadsheet, um, I have anything that we read is in italics. It just makes it stand out different. Um, so I can just pick out and pull out books for her really quickly. Um, but that's just my preference. You can undo that. If you don't want it um, italicized, you can come up here. You can make it bold. Um, it's, it works basically the same way as Word does. Um, but so you can see I have all my books in here and as we read a book I would just go through highlight it and then um, then I know that we finished it. So that is basically my spreadsheet. It's pretty simple. Um, it probably looks like it's pretty complicated but it really isn't. Once you get it set up and you formatted your curriculum list and any of these specialty tabs that you want and then your um, your four you do one week and you just copy it and then one book list, if you want to do a book list, you don't even have to. Um, if you want to do that, do one. And then you would just copy that for every many months you're going to be using it. So once you've done one week and one book list and your specialty tabs, then you've basically done it all. And all you do is copy and paste and add in whatever specific page numbers or specific books that you're reading that month or that week. So that is how I do my spreadsheet. So I hope that you found this helpful. Um, I hope that you learned how to edit the existing spreadsheet if you choose to um, just download mine or if you're making your own. I hope this gave you some ideas on um, how you can make it a solely in a spreadsheet and also um, format it for printing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I tried to cover as many questions as I thought you would ask, but I'm sure I missed something. Um, and I'm not a computer expert. I've just been doing this spreadsheet for a while. So um, if you have any questions, definitely ask and I will try and help you the best I can. And if you have any other requests for videos that you'd like to see that I haven't covered, uh, please leave those in the requests below. And um, be sure to visit um, my Teacher Pay Teacher store if you want to check out some fun freebies. I know Back to School is coming. And I have made some really fun things for Back to School. And I have some, um, some cute freebies available if you'd like to check those out. I hope you like this video. And if you do, click like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.